Woodpasture and parkland is a habitat created by people. It has been woven into the fabric of European landscapes for centuries and as a result it's an astonishingly rich place for wildlife, home to some of the most threatened species in Europe. For too long it's been overlooked, misunderstood even, seen as degraded woodland. In this series of videos we will show you what it looks like, why it's so good for people and wildlife and some of the threats that are currently facing it. Woodpasture and parkland contain old, open-grown trees growing amongst grass or heathland, all elements combining to create a distinct mosaic of habitats. Many woodpastures contain trees up to or even over 500 years in age. With such connections to the ancient past, these places have immense heritage and cultural value, and their continuity is fundamental to their species richness. Open grown trees and those actively pollarded tend to live longer than those that are found within woodland. As they age, the older wood inside them begins the long and complex process of decay. It is this decaying wood that is so vital, providing food and shelter for fungi, insects and other invertebrates slow decaying wood habitat, going through many decay stages, is becoming increasingly rare in our tidy landscapes. This is the reason the species that depend on it are now so vulnerable. Greater diversity in these organisms in turn supports a greater variety of birds, bats and other mammals. As a result, hollowing trees are many times more valuable for wildlife than similar sized sound trees. The open nature of wood pasture allows sunlight to warm the trunks of old trees, creating conditions that many species require. The great age of these hollowing trees, compared to those around them, means that they have become life rafts for the many species living inside or on them and that are unable to disperse the large distances to reach new habitats across increasingly fragmented landscapes. There are over 2,000 species of insect dependent on wood decay in the UK, many of which are near to extinction as they are now isolated to very small areas. An extreme example of this is the moccas beetle, a soldier beetle species only known from a handful of trees in a single wood pasture site. These sites are also often immensely popular for visitors to the countryside and yet they remain frequently undervalued for their special features and rare habitats, which are still declining. Decaying wood is regularly tidied away, whole trees of great character and interest, often through misplaced concerns about safety, are still being removed. Many of the historical uses for these sites are no longer relevant to current needs, so they've been prone to damage, fragmentation and even destruction through development, forestry or farming. These sites are at risk of becoming overgrown and turning into secondary woodland, losing their characteristic open structure. On top of this, there are more recent threats from air pollution, tree pests and diseases and climate change. This series of videos will introduce you to the history and wildlife as well as the recommended management practices for this unique habitat. Our aim is to ensure that wood pasture and parkland gets the recognition it deserves to ensure that its value for wildlife, the landscape and our cultural heritage is no longer overlooked, helping to conserve these irreplaceable and beautiful places.